praise the Lord today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of kings and Lord of lords, the Almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is so holy. You know, Jesus said that we are to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our soul, mind, and strength, and love our neighbor as ourself. These commandments fulfill the law and the prophets. We know from the scripture, from what is recorded there, and from the revelation that he has given to us when he gave us a new spirit, when we were born anew from heaven, that the Lord wants us to love him and put him first above all else above everything else because he knows that if we don't put him first if we don't have a holy reverent fear of God then we will walk in fear of men in fear of circumstances in fear of the things coming upon the earth we have to make sure at this hour that our hearts are fixed upon the Lord fixed upon the Lord and that everything that we do as it says in Colossians 4 we do as unto the Lord as unto the Lord God is calling his people in this hour to to sink in to more prayer because prayer is communion with the Father communion with our holy God loving him and praising him and worshiping him the highest form of prayer is worship true worship in the spirit and in truth Hallelujah! and just loving him and meditating on his goodness and his holiness and his severity and his justice and his grace Hallelujah! hallelujah he's so good he's so holy many of you have been going through many trials many testings and the, the, the way I know that is not by what you write to us but by what we go through because the body of Christ is one and the Lord would have you know today that he is with us in the trial and in the testing in Isaiah 43 he says he says in Isaiah 43 that when we go through the waters <clears throat> They will not overflow us. Hallelujah. See, we have to bring the word of encouragement to one another. We have to remember this. It's so important in this hour that we remember to strengthen the brethren. Strengthen the brethren where they need to be strengthened. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob. Thus saith the Lord. Jehovah is speaking. How much credence are we giving to what he is saying in this hour as, a, as the church? It's so deep, so wide, so long, so high. The love of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, fear not. God's saying to his people, Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have redeemed thee. See, he's done it. Hallelujah. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Thou art mine. That's what the Lord is saying to his people today. We belong to him. We belong to him. We belong to the one and only true and living God. And He will never leave us nor forsake us. He's with us always, even until the end of the age. Hallelujah. Verse 2, Isaiah 43, 2. When thou passest through the waters. 
So you're going through the waters, the waters of the troubles. I will be with thee. He's with you. He's with us today. Hallelujah. And through the rivers, those are multitudes rushing troubles, coming one after another. They shall not overflow thee. They shall not overflow thee. Stop listening to the lies of the devil, says the Lord. That you're going to be consumed, that you're going to be overrun by troubles. No, no. When thou walkest through the fire, we're going through the fire. That that fire is a, it's just a, it's like an assailing uh, upon the mind from the enemy of our souls, the flesh, the world, and the devil. It's an assailing upon the mind. It's, it's just an outright, total barrage attack upon the mind of doubt and discouragement and despondency trying to, to put us down and make us give up. But we will not give up. We will not give up. We will press on to the mark of the, of the high call to the prize. The high call of God in Christ Jesus. We will press forward no matter what happens, no matter what God allows and brings into our life. Because all things work together for good to those who love God and are the called according to His purpose. All things. We serve the Holy God. Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy God. So different, so other, so mighty, so pure. And we need to pray. Father, we pray right now that you would put a holy dread, a holy fear in us of you, Lord. That we fear only you and stand before you, Lord, as we stand before men, as we stand before friends, as we stand before bosses, as we stand in the workplace, O oh God. As we stand in the ministry, as we stand in doing what you have called us to do. That we would have a holy fear only of you, O oh God. And that we would fear no man. We would fear no circumstance, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Hallelujah. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. He's the Holy One. This word is so precious. Thy Savior. Thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Fear not. Verse 5. Fear not. For I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, Give up and to the south, Keep not back. Bring my sons from far, my daughters, from the ends of the earth. Even every one that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. Bring them forth, says the Lord. Many of you, you have eyes and ears, but you're blind and deaf. Because you're stuck on yourself. You haven't surrendered. God wants you to surrender today. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses they may be justified or let them hear and say it is true and God says to us his people today ye are my witnesses saith the Lord and my servant whom I have chosen that ye may know that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he before me there was no God formed Neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord. And beside me there is no Savior. 
There is no Savior beside Him. I have declared and have saved and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses. Ye are my witnesses. This is the Lord speaking. Saith the Lord that I am God. We cannot witness a, a faithful witness if we don't have a holy fear of God. We have to have that holy fear. Hallelujah. Jesus said in, in Matthew 18, verse 19 and 20, Again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree, two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, anything that they shall ask, it shall be done of them, for them. Of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So we gather in his name. We gather in his name. Be in agreement. Be in agreement, Heavenly Father. Oh, praise your holy name, O oh God. You're the mighty God. You're the holy God. You are the holy Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jehovah Nisi, our banner, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, you are holy, Lord, you are holy, Lord, you are holy. We come before you, Father, we ask you today, Lord, that you would strengthen us. In helping us to die, helping us to surrender, helping us to take the low place, O oh God. Not to exalt ourself, but to exalt your Son, Father, as you have exalted him at your right hand. That we as a body, Lord, would, would march forward victorious, conquering on the right hand and on the left with the weapons of righteousness. Speaking the truth, Lord. Because we love, Father, because we love speaking the truth in love because of your great and awesome love because of your great and awesome mercy to us and to all mankind Father for the sake of your great name Father we pray that you would touch all the young people today Lord with an understanding and a holy fear and dread of who you are and touch us Lord touch us oh God the baby boomer generation oh God and those Generation X and all these different generations, Lord. Those born in the 30s and 40s and there's not many left born in the 20s, Lord, but there's some, Lord. Hallelujah. And all the way through to today, Lord. Touch your people, Lord. Call out those whom you're calling out, O oh God. And give us all a holy fear and dread of you, O oh God, in this hour. And, oh God, we just lift up your holy Son, Lord. Hallelujah, Father, we praise you, we bless you, we praise you, and bless you today, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for hearing and answering our prayers, every need met, Lord, every need met in your body today. To conform us and transform us into the image of your dear Son, Father. In Jesus' mighty, holy name, Amen. Hallelujah.